Hi everyone, I'm Sloan from SloanBella.com and I'm back with another energetically channeled video. Now this person is alive currently and this is the energy around the circumstances. Now I will tell you right off the bat, immediately, I pick up the year 2036. Now that's what is that, 12 years from now? So 2036 is a key playing time for the ending of this person's reign of power. Systematically following through until that time frame, but completely eradicated at that time. So the energy of this person's empire is slowly collapsing. Now, when you look at a person's empire or what they produce or what they create, that extends to family members and everybody down the line, okay? So systematically, which is really interesting because what I get is this particular person who has acquired, probably was the first hip hop billionaire in 2019, so they say, um, has acquired so much wealth and power over the masses along with his very famous wife. And when you look at it, they're very famous children because of course when the parents are celebrities, the children come into play um, in the public eye. But this particular person is winding down energetically. And I see a complete brick wall shut right in front of this person. So no matter how they try to get around what is coming for them, by the year 2036, we are done. So 2030, 2036. So as soon as we hit the agenda of 2030, six years later, we are done. So this particular powerful person no longer has reign over what is going on in the public eye, okay, or in the music industry. There is a complete takedown of this energy right now. And I go through so many people around him. It's not just him. He's the one that took the bait and took the power. But remember, when you take the power, they're always coming for your power. We see that everywhere we go. We see that in any business, little restaurants, all the way up to huge corporations, to huge public celebrities. So who am I talking about? I'm talking about Jay-Z, if you didn't figure it out, with his very famous wife. And there was a lot of stuff online that had him as a Pisces rising. You know me, I'm not gonna buy that when you're that articulate. He's pretty articulate and pretty focused. Perhaps that's not gonna be Pisces rising. I found other sources, more other sources, that put him at a Virgo rising, which makes perfect sense to me given that he married a Virgo and that Virgo plays an integral role in his power. So I'm talking about Jay-Z, who was born on December 4th of 1969. He is an earth rooster. Now it's interesting because roosters are the bosses of the zodiac, Chinese astrology. They are the directors, the dictators. So they're gonna tell you how it's done, which really, when you're in a position of power career-wise, this would be something that would be a benefit to your personality. So he is an earth rooster, controlled and possessed by earthbound things, okay? So the things that we manifest on earth, you know, the money, the power, the fame that we're taught here. We're born into families and we just grow up and we're told, you know, you want to aspire to be this guy because he's a billionaire. And they all have fake stories. Now, I want to point that out. Fake stories about the nonsense on how they started and how they got to where they are. That's not entirely true. So I never want anybody to believe these stories of rags to riches bullshit because it's bullshit. Anyway, energetically speaking, Jay-Z is a Libra moon, sun in Sagittarius, and Virgo rising. Now, what I found so interesting is he has Pluto on the ascendant. It's not a tight conjunction, but it is within orb of a conjunction, okay? So orb degree of a conjunction. So when we have Pluto close to the ascendant, number one, that acts, regardless of the sign it's in, okay, it acts like a Scorpio rising. So we are never gonna know the truth about this person because Pluto on the ascendant is like, I either invite you in or I shut the door, okay? The door is being shut on him right now, by the way. 
Anyway, he is a Virgo rising, Pluto in Virgo on the Ascendant. Now, Pluto is out of sign conjunction to the moon in Libra. Beyonce has a Libra rising, according to online, and she is a Virgo. So this makes perfect sense. Her sun sits on his ascendant, his moon, it's a mutual reception, his moon sits on her ascendant. On an emotional level, she is exactly what he envisions for himself, exactly that. Now, he has an out of sign conjunction from Pluto to the moon, and then conjunct Uranus. Now, that is very hard to control in Libra. It's also unique. So the way that he thinks on an emotional level and the way that his women are, starting with his mother, all the way back to his mother and any female relatives that kind of shaped who he is, it's an ingenious type of energy because it's connected to Uranus. And Uranus in Libra is creatively... Well, number one, it, it's visually, creatively, artistically, aesthetically pleasing to the public. So there would be that. Now, Uranus is conjunct the second house. You can be damn sure this man uses astrology. I'm going to say that. He uses astrology and he makes his money in unique and odd ways, which he does have facets in clothing and alcohol, um, a lot like the P. Diddy shit, which is code for I need to get rid of mass amounts of money from other type of work I'm doing. And how do I do that? I open up businesses and I run my money through these different businesses. This is just what I see with this. So he's got Uranus conjuncting the second house. Neptune conjunct Venus in Scorpio. Oh my God. Okay, so anyway... Venus in Scorpio is a sneaky one because it starts off all sexual for the purpose of sex. Like, I want to get with you. Neptune is there, which adds a spiritual element and or a delusional element, okay? <laughs> Could be delusional or spiritual or spiritually delusional. Like, this is my queen and I'm her king and we're going to be together as they act in public. In the lay terms with people in day-to-day -day life, Venus conjunct Neptune can be very difficult because you don't see the person as they are. You can hold them on a pedestal and devalue them equally as quickly, which can be very difficult for the relationship if you're the one being devalued or put on a pedestal because nobody wants either one. You just want to be seen as you are, actually, technically. So we have um, his, we have Sun and Mercury conjunct in Sag. Now this is some, this is a smart man. This is smart and it's articulate. It's in Sagittarius. Now, because he's born on December 4th and has a Saturn retrograde in Taurus in the eighth house. So Saturn retrograde instantly, automatically removes the father's influence from your life. Now, what do I mean by that? It can mean you have a working father who does not have time to come home and spend time with the kids. It can mean that your father's locked up in jail. It can mean that your father has no interest in being a father and or karmically wasn't told he was the father of you. So it can bring about so much in a person's chart. But the person who owns the Saturn retrograde, meaning the person with Saturn retrograde in their chart, it basically opens them up to the idea that they walk alone without the support of the father figure, whomever it is. It doesn't mean other people don't step in, all of that. But the father of origin, the birth father is absent and subsequent fathers after are absent. The fourth of the month, every month, all the way from January, all the way through to Pisces, like uh, uh, beginning of the year to the end of the year, which is December, actually not Pisces, from Aries to Pisces. I was doing from the first of the year. Anyway, Aries is actually the first of the year. We know this, but they screw with us with the calendar. Anyway, from Aries to Pisces, anybody, anybody born on the fourth of the month is absent a father figure. And as a result of, makes their own creative expression, if they are male, as what they are supposed to be. So they pattern themselves over somebody else's energy paternally or father figure wise. Saturn retrograde adds to that. So we have a four and we have a Saturn retrograde. Then when we have Saturn in Taurus, oh my God. Okay. So Saturn is ruled by Capricorn naturally or rules Capricorn, which is an earth sign, rules the 10th house. 
when you have Saturn in another earth sign and especially Taurus, which they say rules Venus, but I actually believe rules the earth. So what we do here on earth. So when you have Saturn in Taurus, okay, in the eighth house, this is earthly pleasures. Earthly pleasures, Saturn in the eighth is often a significant factor and it's retrograde in the abuse of a child, okay? So Saturn in the eighth. They are privy to things that they shouldn't be sexually, financially, um, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, okay? That they should not be privy to early on in life. And with Saturn in Taurus and then Venus in Scorpio with Neptune, this would be something that was presented to him probably around the age of six, looking at his chart, if this is the chart that is actually his. It's so hard to know because they just, whatever. So that's just a basic outline of the chart. Now, when you look at Beyonce's chart, I have it written down somewhere here. When you look at Beyonce's chart, Beyonce has a Scorpio moon. That Scorpio moon sits right in between his Neptune and his Venus. So on an emotional level, she's willing to play into the delusion that he presents to her, if you would like to word it that way, which I'm going to word it that way. And then we have Sun in Virgo. So her son, she's born on September 4th, her son in 1981, her son in Virgo sits literally on his ascendant. So she is looking for the expression of that kind of man. And because his Pluto is conjuncting her son, which sits on his ascendant, he is in control of her, whether she thinks so or not, whether she's the money maker or not. Shake your money maker, she is the money maker. He is the one procuring the money maker out in public. So she was handed off to him. This was a buyout deal, so to speak. So we have that. We have her with a 20 degree Libra ascendant, which puts his, um, puts his moon and Uranus on to her ascendant, okay? Like, literally. So these two are together like this. Like, they fit. Jagged edges, piece of puzzle, they fit. They actually fit together. That's why when I saw online, the Pisces rising, I'm like, it's not Pisces rising. Um, that could flip it to the seventh house, but he's more like a first house Pluto in Virgo, if I saw one. He's blunt, straightforward, speaks like, you know, directly speaks the way that he speaks. Now, what do I see happening with him energetically? I see the next three years. So we are in 2024. This is whatever month this is. This is March, <laughs> the beginning of 2024. So we are headed for the next three years, 25, 26, and 27, with the beginning initial stages of the knockdown when it comes to Jay-Z. He is not next in line. He is second to next in line. I get a real, real kind of focus between him, Chris Brown, and MC Hammer, okay? So they're kind of all coming around and they're all linked. We know P. Diddy's going down. So, and that was said by his ex-wife and that video I did last June. But Jay-Z is a different story because he's still attached to a hierarchy which encompasses financial, political, and just basically public. So he's not absolutely going to be taken down yet. The next three years, yes. There are steps where if he doesn't fall into line, he is going to be shaken up. Now, what I do see, I do see three years from now, him, his wife, and his kid. I don't know if there's more than one kid. There might be more than one kid. I can't remember with everybody who has kids. But Anyway, him, his kid, and his wife, I see them with suitcases, and I literally see them leaving. So their residence will no longer be in the United States. This is what I'm seeing, and this happens by 2027, if not sooner, 2025 through 2027. There is a leaving of the energy here, and there is a flipping of his personality. So what I'm seeing is a complete shift in his personality. So what does that mean? It means that on a representative way, so how I present myself outwardly, this changes. So now I change my tune, put on another mask, and I present myself outwardly in a different fashion. He thinks he can escape by doing that. If I present myself this way, the public will see me this way and nothing will happen to me. Now, he's definitely 100% 
100% energetically connected to the different hierarchies on the other side. So this man understands metaphysical principles, occult principles, how to use those principles, and how to move through different layers of energy himself. No questions asked. The reason that he is in the music industry is because of his finely tuned ability to walk a line between what you and I see and where they go, which is different, which is why they have a different lifestyle than us. It's not because they're better or more creative. Understand what you're looking at when you see somebody like Jay-Z is somebody who took an opportunity, Saturn in Taurus, okay, retrograde. Somebody who took an opportunity to step out of a comfort zone and into one that they thought, and this is a greed level, I want fame, I want success, I want money. It's not just I'm a businessman. And he is using his queen, which is Queen B, Beyonce, to help him maneuver in that fashion. But it's interesting because what I see is the wax is melting on the candle. So that tells me something as I'm saying it. That these two engage in ritual expression involved with fire candle, candle magic, which is really kind of novice. Like there's higher levels. Candle magic is a novice beginner way to manipulate energy. But I'm seeing them melt like wax candles. So the facade that they both have and that their family has is actually crumbling right now. You will see it within three years. There are legal troubles for Jay-Z that come up in November and they come attached to another person, but not a person that you actually think, which would be P. Diddy spilling the beans as he gets dragged into court. No, it's not P. Diddy. It is somebody else. And I'm kind of swinging around to Justin Bieber. Like I'm looking at this, the people up there and I'm kind of torn between Chris Brown and Justin Bieber. But I'm going the Justin Bieber way here because Bieber is involved in this sideways. Okay, so there's a sideways connection to Bieber, which I'm sure they're all in the industry, different forms of expression, but they're all in the industry. So this makes sense to me. And then when I look at Jay-Z and Beyonce, I see the fading on the candle. The wax is melting. They are what we would consider to be high level government experiments. I'm going to put it that way. It doesn't start off that way. It doesn't start off that way, but that's what they are. That's the cat jumping in for her opinion. She feels like she needs to talk. Anyway, their, their expression is, this is a this is a government operation and it's no longer working. So their Jay-Z will be brought back and, and remolded in a different form. So they really have no ability to control the outcome of what is going to be happening. Okay, this is ridiculous. Cat, hold on. <laughs> get down. Come on, get down. Sorry, y'all. Um, anyway, <laughs> she's gone. She's gone. She's not going to distract me over there stalking me for lunch. Anyhow, the government, okay, and it is a government or it is a authoritative takedown of they're switching midline of what they feel people want to hear or what people want to have happen. So they are taking their public people and they are saying, okay, we take these people and we're going to reinvent them so they're more palatable in a different way. Only thing is it's not going to be more palatable. So I am seeing the face of Jay-Z and Beyonce kind of shifting in the next three years. So by 2027, they no longer wield the public power that you think they do. And they will have to approach you in a different way. Now, on an energetic level, what I'm being told about Jay-Z is that he has investments in all kinds of mind technology, a.k.a. Elon Musk. But I'm not sure it's through Elon Musk. It's in other countries, other kinds of capital venture towards the controlling of the human mindset. He has allowed portions of what he chooses to do in his life into a consciousness center where people can tap into being him. So it's almost a robotic stance where you yourself can put the goggles on and learn how to live Jay-Z's life. He's agreed to do this. So he's kind of a captive, but in a public form and has no cognitive or conscious awareness of this. That's a weird thing to say, but that's just the way, that's the energy I'm picking up on. 
no conscious awareness of what's going on around him. Also, keep in mind, keep in mind, they are very much, and, and here's what I'm getting. I am getting both Jay-Z and Beyonce because, see, he procures her out there. He is her handler, and he is the one that pushes her out there public, and then he profits off her. So we're looking at, and I don't care how much talent you think they have, I don't care how much talent you think they have. She was chosen for him. It is a karmic thing looking at their chart, but he was. she was chosen for him in order to help him get where he needed to go. So she's the muse, but let's use this in a different way. Sometimes we use the word muse in the terms of profiteering off of it. He's very aware of entertainers, male and female, where he needs to go, to keep his money coming in and what he's actually selling. Now this connects him to R. Kelly. High level pimping and pandering for the music industry through the trafficking, my camera cut off when I said trafficking, through the trafficking of human beings, okay? So I'm going to put that out there in that fashion. You, we, you, me, them, we are going to start seeing through the veil when it comes to Jay-Z and within three years, public favor is removed. Now, he's not the first one to go down behind P. Diddy, but he's a close second. So it's a combination that's coming after him. And when they take him down, they're going to take Beyonce down behind him. And it's going to start crumbling, okay? So it's the next three years. On an energy level, what this is, is it is, understand, when you do... Um, occultist high level and jay-z is a high level occultist as is beyonce when you're involved in high level entity conjuring which they are when you're involved in that kind of high level type of giving yourself over to those energies you are not really in control of what happens after a certain point like no matter what anybody says no matter how big and strong and special they think they are, when you let something into your body and you think you can control it, that's because they let you think that you can control it, not that you can control it, okay? So when you're looking at that, I want you to understand that there is a point in time where people become known and, and are pushed in the direction where they can no longer get into the physical vessel or the husk. They're kind of like husky. Now this brings me to another weird energy. When I'm looking, okay, when I'm looking at the children of a lot of celebrity people, I realize that these are, I'll use the word synthetics, but they act synthetic. I'm not saying they're not human, I'm just saying, synthetically inclined. I can't read the energy. And if I can't read the energy as a barometer, if I can't look at you in the eyes and read your energy and see what you're doing, then there is something that is blocking me from doing so. And now it can be a block by them, but it can also be because they come from a different origin source. Okay. So what they've done in our society is they've gotten us so used to in vitro and having babies and test tubes do we really know if someone chooses to do that in a higher echelon, the elite as they call them, in a higher echelon, do we really know exactly what is going to happen with those creations? Because we don't. And Jay-Z and Beyonce are kind of at that level where we're not really sure where that energy came from whatever it's blocked. Now they can put a protection spell around their kid. And if I were them, I would because the public is also crazy. Okay. So the public can be crazy and they can be crazy. When I look at this though, I see and am inclined to think that there's a lot more going on. There's a lot of substituting of energy with these two. And there's a lot of moving in the direction. And if you've ever been backstage at a concert and you watch people perform, when they come back into their physical vessel, their body, from being out of their body while they're performing, it's quite a sight. And I have seen it personally. I'm not with Beyonce and Jay-Z, but I have seen it personally. It's quite a sight to see someone come back into the physical after being out of the physical. 
The reason that they're out of the physical is so that they can harness powerful energy to entice people who are watching, which is what these guys are doing. Now, having said that, I get Jay-Z connected to Clive Davis, connected to P. Diddy, and so there's a succession of things happening. Clive is old right now, so he's probably next in line, but I'm kind of shooting off with Chris Brown, and then I'm shooting off with Justin Bieber, and then I'm kind of going to MC Hammer. Like, it's happening. These people... These people are being used on different levels to take other people's money, clean it, move things all about the country under the guise, under the guise of their creative talents. Now, Jay-Z, this is going to come to a screeching halt. Screeching halt. Russell Simmons pops up in the conversation, okay, in the conversation. So I have not heard head nor tail of Russell Simmons. He pops right in right now for months. I mean, he went off somewhere and who the hell knows where he went. Those words, that hiding will come to play in the future months. We are going to see conversation from Russell Simmons. It's either behind the scenes, something that is going to bring about a change in how the public looks at Jay-Z. There's like all kinds of things going on. He has a target directed at him because people want him found out. Beyonce does as well. This is what they're doing. Changing the candle wax, upping the game, upping the ante. The energy is very, very odd, but this is what I feel. So it's three years and then in the year, 2036, it no longer exists. He is a expression of his former self. And that former self is contained in such a way that we don't recognize it. And it doesn't have the power that it wields right now. So we are in a long line of circumstances happening right now with a takedown. And it's just waiting for them to be taken down. And they've been promised otherwise. They have been promised otherwise. They, Jay-Z, Beyonce, all of the other ones I mentioned, but this is about Jay-Z, they are in the process. Now, what I am seeing is Jay-Z's beginning, okay, so the succession of being unraveled in the next three years starts with a burglary of something. So Jay-Z is in the process of having some connection to missing burglarized items, and it's going to come up around him. That's the first marker, and I'm not sure what it is he steals. I don't know if this is a stolen song a stolen item, a stolen car, I don't know what it is, but it is a burglary of something I have stolen and now I'm being accused of taking this. And that is the beginning of it because they will start nosing around with him. So there's like a lot of nosing around. It's in the theft of something. And by theft, I don't quite know what I mean by that, but it's by the theft of something. And when you, when you look at that, it just draws attention to him and they don't like attention drawn to them. I also feel, forgive me for saying this, I sound really weird, but I also feel that when they sleep at night, they sleep in coffins. So what do I mean by that? They sleep not like you and I, they sleep in a different way and they don't sleep till we get up. So there's a whole other shift in energy if you were to get, they're like underground. Maybe that's what I want to say. It's an underground energy that is not observed by most people on this planet. So the behavior is beneath the surface and that is part of what is going to be their unraveling. It's very weird energy and I'm all like all over the place again, but that is going to be the unraveling is that they are connected energetically to a different source. And I see them connected through the solar plexus. So they hang, okay, so hang like from the stomach hang, like when you rise up out of the body, meaning they're not presently grounded in their physical body. I'm talking Jay-Z, um, not grounded, but of course his wife, because the two are synonymous, but through the solar plexus and so puppeteered out like that. So the behavior 
of them is completely controlled and it's going to start unraveling. We give them way too much power. They're controlled by other entities around them. There is something with Justin Bieber coming up that's going to drag Jay-Z down the rabbit hole with him. So we have this connection like this and it's going to go down, down, down. It's more of a procuring issue rather than like um, fundamentally hands-on issue. So it's more profiteering than it is hands-on is how I would word that. Anyway, I'm now getting giving myself a headache. <laughs> this is my first energetic reading on Jay-Z. And once again, my name is Sloan at SloanBella.com.